Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to use timers in WPF application. So select a WPF app, say next, uh, name, whatever name, and this is our WPF application. What we want to do is we want to take a simple text and update it on the timer. Okay. So I'll give it the big one. I'll select this text. I will give a name to it. Text one. I would like to change the font size to 30, a little bigger, and the content to null. Okay, and let's go here, go to the source code. Let's take one object static int m counter is equal to zero, and we are going to display that counter. Let's create a timer is equal to system dot timers dot timer. Okay, and uh, this is our timer, timer dot interval. Let's set it. Okay, this should be new. Timer dot interval is equal to 500 milliseconds and timer dot elapsed. I want to call some function on timer elapsed and then time start the timer. Okay, and this method is not there. Add it. And this definition, what we want to do is say, say text one dot text is equal to, uh, you yeah, know, counter value plus m underscore counter. That's what we want to do. Okay. And if you run this, uh, you don't say see anything. Okay. So why? So if you simply put a log, okay, this is my counter, m underscore counter, you should increment the counter here. And uh, if I want to see the log, I should go to properties, make this output, mm -hmm, not here, on this properties. And make the output type as console application, save it, close it and run it. And yeah, I can see that, okay, counter is incrementing, no problem, but it's not getting updated here. Why? Why this is not working? Because the threads, you know, the text one is created in a separate thread, so it must be updated in that particular thread. So we use a dispatcher for such things, we invoke a function, and in my function, I'm going to do this, okay? So this should work. Cool, right? This is perfect. So this is the way we use the timers. We create a timer object, we assign the interval, we yeah, we connect some slot to it, or we connect some event handler to it, and we start the timer. Every 500 milliseconds, this is going to get invoked, and we are going to display this uh, thing here, okay? Thank you.